Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Principal punishes Trump loving student for winning school election. Pissed off mom makes him pay. President Trump has a lot of detractors, but he also has a lot of supporters. Some of those are younger millennials. However, not a lot of media attention is given to those supporters of the administration, which is why this story should not be surprising. Mad World News reported. A Trump-hating Florida high school principal is in hot water after what he did to a senior who fairly won the election for class president with an epic Trump-like speech. Unfortunately, the high schooler's principal decided to make the boy pay for his words. After exercising his liberal agenda and crushing this kid's right to free speech, the activist principal is about to face some consequences that he never saw coming. According to WPTV5, J.P. Krause, a senior at Vero Beach High School in Vero Beach, Florida, was filmed giving a Trump-like campaign speech for senior class president. The following day, Krause won the election, but his victory was short-lived as he was disqualified and given a detention for his offensive speech. Now, Principal Sean O'Keefe and the school district are in hot water for the way they treated Krause. What's truly shocking about the punishment from the liberal school administration is that at no time did Krause use explicit language or suggest any kind of questionable behavior from the student body. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today. I'd just like to say that I'm hoping I'd be able to win your vote with free speech, Kraus began. I represent every student my opponent does not. I am all for freedom, equality, and liberty. My opponent wants to advance communist ideas into the very fabric of our government. She will expand the government so that you will not be able to do anything. She will likely create a dress code for you all. The teacher interjected, JP, I'm already doing that. The students laughed as Kraus continued. She will raise taxes to 80%. I do not want any taxes for our students. Our student body is the most, is one of the smartest in our county, Kraus said, according to Fox News. Speaking about his opponent again, Kraus said, she wants, she represents Sebastian River High School. What I want, what I propose is that we build a wall between here and Sebastian River and we make Sebastian River pay for it. The class broke into laughter as the fed up liberal teacher cut into Kraus' speech again, asking, are you done? Kraus gave his closing remarks, saying, thank you all, and I hope I win your vote tomorrow. By this point, it was clear that the teacher in the class was irritated with Kraus and wanted him to stop talking. The following day, Kraus won the election and celebrated the victory for only a moment before the principal decided that the election results should be nullified and Kraus should be punished with a detention for harassment. This is the sad state of affairs in our public school system. Let's face it, Free speech is only allowed in public schools as long as it is liberal free speech. Too often, conservative students who want their voices heard are persecuted and disciplined for exercising their right to free speech. Although Krauss' speech in the election took place in April, the consequences for the principal and the school district are just beginning. The Krauss family was shocked when JP was punished for exercising his free speech in a school election, and Angela Krauss, JP's mom, said she wishes the situation was handled better and expressed her concern over his disciplinary record affecting college applications and career. This not an unreasonable concern for a Krauss mother to have. The majority of American colleges and universities have reached toxic levels of liberal fanaticism in their admission practices. Add in the fact that Krauss appears to be white and isn't a brainwashed progressive and his chances of getting into college shrink considerably. I don't think there was anything wrong, Angela explained. He was being silly. He's 17. Now, the disciplinary incident has caught the attention of the nonprofit Pacific Legal Foundation, which reached out to the family. Reportedly, they are providing the family legal counsel free of charge. Senior attorney Mark Miller works for the Pacific Legal Foundation and he sent a letter to the Indian River County School District. In the letter, he asked them to reconsider the behavior that he deemed illegal and furthermore asked that they declare JP as the class president of his school. The letter also asked that the harassment claim be removed from the school records so that JP would have a better chance of getting into college. What JP was doing was engaged in the most basic First Amendment protected speech, which is pure political speech, Miller says. Miller agreed that this young man's constitutional rights were disregarded and violated. Furthermore, arguing that the rights of Trump supporting millennials were being infringed upon because they are conservatives. Thus far, the school district has not responded to any and all requests for comments. However, a comment is expected given how much of an issue this problem is becoming. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe.
Thank you.